What's going on guys, Washington here, back with another figure to review. Today I'm going to re review with you guys uh, one of uh, Leonard's Predators figures. And this is our figures that came out in um, January of 2021. And they were announced during like September, I mean December, maybe November. They were announced and... Uh, I when I first saw them, you know, they, I I knew that they were going to be Walmart exclusive. So you see right there, the Walmart exclusive. And um, when I saw those figures, you know, they they seemed like really simple and like the, I, I just found them interesting because me as a Predator fan, you know, I was like, I'm gonna get them and just to check them out and see if it's uh, uh just to check them out because like you know I'm a Predator fan and uh, they are pretty cool. When I saw the box, the box you see is pretty cool. There's that window box right there. You see the Predator. And it says right there the Hunter Weapon Accessories. Jungle. And it says 25 points of articulation. That's what it's saying. There's by Lennart. There you see the Predator. The Jungle Hunter. And this is the Predator Collection. Hunter Series. There's 7 inch. These are 7 inch figures. And there you see that's a Walmart exclusive. And they're only $10. Like wow. A $10 figure. A 7 inch. 25 points points of articulation predator figure from Leonard and they're only ten dollars that's amazing you know and on the side of the box you see right there predator collection I really like that uh, picture that graphic in the background looks really nice I can't tell what predator is that I don't know if it's from the comics but yeah and here are the other three predators that are also included they're also they're also available um there you see the hunter the the seven inch here we have the jungle hunter city hunter and berserker predator on um, the side of the box the other side is just predator collection the Pre hunter series the bottom side of the box just predator collection nothing else the top part the hunter series and you see that predator uh, a name from the first movie there you see the targeting you know that the three dots right there he's about a target you know he's about a fire and there is another graphic right there of that predator and the back of the back of the box right here you see the figure that we're about to review a nice picture right there good looking picture and if you guys want to pause that and read that feel feel free to do it this is really nice really really nice there you see the Lenards, 20th Century Fox, and this is the, the Predator that, that's gonna that's inside the box. These are the accessories that are come with the other Predators. There you see a plasma bazooka, the smart disc, the electro clog, a combi stick, and the wrist blades. And yeah, so let's take this guy to the box and see see what he looks like. Okay, here we have the figure, and let's start off with the measurement tape. And yep, he measures up exactly seven inches. That makes him right around eighteen centimeters in height. And yeah, this is the figure. And wow, these figures are amazing for just ten dollars. They're just nicely detailed. They're nice. Uh, they're nice articulated. They're very poseable, and. Um, yeah, there's there's some things that we're gonna talk about the figure, but first, just look at the background of the box that that I got him out of. You know, this is really nice what he came with. I mean, you see the infrared vision of the Predator, and you see that target where he's about to shoot his plasma caster, the one that he has on his shoulder there, and uh, you see the leaves right there from the jungle. You see like a rocky ground right here. Looks really nice what they added. It's really nice. I really like this. It's really awesome. So yeah, this is the Jungle Hunter, the from Lenard. He's a seven-inch figure. He was only ten dollars in Walmart. Um, uh, for some people that didn't end up finding them because you know they they go by fast. I went to like several WalMarts. I think like to seven WalMarts, and they were all going by fast, like fast, 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 like pan caliente, like my mom would say. Um, they were uh, man, but just ten dollars. Wow, not even the Hyatt toys cost them that less that uh, that that price. 
and this is a Walmart exclusive. And uh, the thing why the reasons why they're like a uh, very low price, I mean, like these figures are actually meant to be to play with, you know, just like the the Godzilla and King Kong figures that I reviewed a few months ago. They were by Playmates. They were actually figures. They were made to, uh, well, they 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 were like collection quality. They're not like collection quality like the NECA figures, but they were like more for figures to be played with. So these these are exactly what the uh, Lennar Predators. They released a figure that is a predator that is meant to be played with. I mean, I guess because he does not look like the NECA figures. I mean, they, they, besides, you know, they're not too, like, detailed, you know, they're, they, they're really articulated, they're very posable. Um, the only thing about the, the, the Predator is that, well, you know, I think, well, you know, one thing, you see the, the fish net, you know, they're not painted, they're just molded into the figure. You see that? How the Predator usually has his fish net, you know. This one has it, but it's not painted, and it's just molded into the chest and the body. You see it right there. And another thing, you know, the, this Predator, it looks like he was, like, uncloaking. Because, you know, the Predator uses a cloaking device to make himself look invisible through the jungle. Anybody who's seen Predator, you already know what I'm talking about. He has the ability to turn, like, into invisible. That's why he makes makes him an efficient killer. Uh, efficient hunter. This is the predator that he's like uncamouflaging. He's a uh, uncloaking, and like NECA predators, they 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 had a, they have several variant predators that are, um, with they're with a translucent plastic. This one doesn't seem to be translucent. It just seems to be like a really white plastic. I mean, it's not really translucent. It's just a really white plastic. You just see some paint splash into his chest right here and his leg and a little bit on his uh, right leg and his right thigh here. Um, his uh, shin guards, you know, they're a little bit painted silver in there. Same thing with the with the right uh, leg here. And his feet, his feet are not painted at all. They're all just, uh, they're all into that white plastic, assuming that he's like, his feet are invisible. Part of his hand is also uh, already like uncloaking. You see a little bit of pain in his thumb and in his uh, trigger finger, and you see like almost a half of his hand, his left hand is uh, is uh, uncloaking, and also in his uh, wrist gauntlet right here is his control panel, and it's a single uh, piece. You know, it doesn't, it does not open like normally they that you see this control panel. They, it would open to like activate his self-destructed bomb um the left side of his gauntlet it's also uh it's also uh painted in silver except for the part right here you know it's all white plastic here and the 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 wrist plates the wrist plates are awesome because i mean they're not retractable but they're like into nice hard plastic you don't have to worry about breaking them because i know I know of you guys who are NECA collectors and also McFarlane's, you know, the, the Predator wrist blades. They were, they are super flimsy. They're super flimsy. They're really fragile and they will break. I mean, if you're not careful enough, they will break. And that, it is really frustrating. But this guy, I, I'm happy to have a Predator that has wrist blades that are not easy to break. I mean, they're like... They're, they're a little bendable, you know, they're a harder plastic. I mean, if you force them too much, obviously they will break, but they, these guys are strong. You don't have to worry about them breaking off. That's one thing that I like about this Predator. And also the the um, the um backpack that's attached to his plasma caster. It's a single piece, it's not removable, so this is no accessory that you can just take off. Normally you, you can in the NECA figures. And also the the neck of the plasma caster, you can uh, you can hinge it uh, back and forward, but the head of the plasma caster, you can move it to the left and right, and you can hinge it up and down. Except the neck, the neck you can move it. Um, another thing about the the detail of the predator, you know, the backside. I mean. 
the backside is all white it's all painted in that uh, uh, that white plastic that supposedly uh, imitates the translucent plastic but it's it's just I mean they 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 have you know they have painting in here in the front side but in the back this looks like it's like undone I mean um, only his loin claw you know his loin claw is a, a nice uh, rubber plastic it's a uh, um, but it's not uh, into that white plastic I mean just the only thing that you see color in in this backside is uh, his loin claw and obviously his hair his hair his dreads they're all a single piece but they're nice and rubbered I mean there's some of them that are, that are single piece like these guys right here but the back side you know it's just a single piece of his dreads and another thing that I do like about him is his mask his mask looks so awesome it looks so clean it's silver clean it looks really nice I really like the 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 detail the, the design of his mask it's the jungle hunter I mean like you see the the two targets right here looks like he's about to um well this one is the 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 three dots that he uses to target his uh uh his his prey with his plasma caster that's where the plasma caster is going to shoot and this one's right here there's supposed to be two but there's three but this ones are the two um the two uh tubers that connect from his med kit to his uh to his uh, bio mask but there's so normally there are two but this one's are here are three holes um but yeah i don't know but this looks really nice for just ten dollars man this is amazing I really like what Leonard did, and I don't know what you guys think, but you know, do you give this a pass, or or do you guys, do, would you guys collect this figure? I think he's really awesome, and besides being postable and has articulations, he also managed to give us one accessory. This accessory is the electric claw. Um, we got to see this in Predator Two. I don't know why Predator Jungle Hunter has it when this one was supposedly belongs to City Hunter. No idea why does he have it. I mean, we never we never got to see him use it in a movie of Predator 1987. Um he can hold it in his hand. I mean, he's got two gripping hands. And uh he can hold it. He's got two both uh gripping hands. He can hold it in both left and right. And like, uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, like it's a really nice figure and uh for articulations you know he he has a ball joint on the head he look he can look up at a really good range that's really nice he can look down he can look left and right and you can rock it a little bit side to side and he has a ball joint on the shoulders and um i thought it was going to be limited by his little uh shoulder pad right there but no you can you can you can extend it really well you can hinge it up and down he has a swivel and uh he can swivel and hinge on the elbows and his uh he can uh he can swivel a little bit on the wrist you can see that uh, and there's a little bit of a limitation right here on his uh, left side because you know his he's got a bigger shoulder shoulder pad right there and like and he also has the backpack so that this one is a little bit limited I mean well yeah and also for for uh, hinging him up you know he's it's uh, the backpacks a little bit in the way you know that's the only thing um, but one thing he does not have those tubers that we see on uh, the NECA predators you know he has those tubers right here and those limited the articulation on him on his left arm and also he also has one on his uh, gauntlet that connects to his uh, from his forearm to his uh, tricep yeah that's another thing um, but yeah he also has also uh, he can swivel and hinge up and down on the left side of his uh, shoulder and also I mean his elbow and he can also swivel on his left wrist he has a bowl joint a nicely bowl joint on the waist that's awesome 
He has a ball joint on, on both legs. He can do a split. Nice split. He has a good kicking range. Nice. And for kicking back about this much. He has a hinge on both knees. And you can have a you can swivel and hinge up and down on both feet. A little bit of ankle pivot right there. On both. He does not have any pec holes. So you can uh you can't put him in any base stand, but there's no problem. I mean like he has no there's no problem for him to stand. I mean he even comes with that box right there, you know, it looks so good in the background right there. And uh yeah. What I see, what I think is that you know they were what they were aiming for, you know, like when I see the jungle hunter, this jungle hunter, you know, with his uh, uncloaking, they were aiming for uh, for the jungle demon or uh, jungle demon uh, predator from NECA. We're gonna do some comparison size so you guys can see, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we have him with. Uh, well, on his right side, you you see him with the Jungle Hunter 8-inch 1.1 figure from NECA. This was the early design. He's an uh, the 1.0. Uh, there you see the size size differences from uh, Leonard and NECA. And on his left side, you can see him with the Jungle Hunter Water Emergence Predator. This is a different variant. You see him with the a little bit of a translucent plastic we see him and like he's already like uh uncloaking and uh this is the the jungle hunter and you see the biomass are like almost like the same because like the this one's like a this one this silver right here is like a lot cleaner than this one but yeah i really like i really like the design on his mask you know he looks really awesome you see the different size from a 7 inch predator from Leonard to an 8 inch figure from NECA. Okay, here you have him with uh, two other predators. His right side here is the ultimate predator jungle hunter. He's like a 8 inch and a quarter size. Uh, he's a little bit taller than the 1.0. This is the 2.0. This is a predator that we will be reviewing pretty soon. He's the ultimate version. He's more articulated, a little bit more detailed, and he has more, um, more uh, clean silver that you see, similar to this guy. You know, this except that this one's a little bit more clean. But yeah, there you see the size comparison. Uh, this guy is a little bit more taller than the rest of them that I showed you, and. Uh, yeah, we will be reviewing this guy pretty soon. And right here, this is his big brother. This is the jungle demon CD, uh, the jungle demon hunter. And this guy, he, um, the jungle demon hunter. I already did his review, and uh, you guys can check him out on the channel. And I guess this is what Lenar was really going for. Um, this is a predator where he's like on cloaking, and uh, I guess this is what they try to do. I mean, you see the the plastic right here that he's like already appearing, and uh, um, yeah, this this is what uh, I think Lenar tried to do. This is the jungle de the jungle uh, demon hunter, and from the back side, you see that the same side, the same thing. You know, there's a little bit more uh, translucent on the back than there is in the front. I guess this is what Lenar tried to do, cause Lenar also has a jungle hunter, but he's actually a 12 inch figure, and that one, you know, he has lights that shoot on his uh, eyes and uh, that light up. His eyes light up with his bio mask, and uh, he also he costs twenty dollars. You know, that's still pretty good because these guys, if you want to spend your money, you know, these guys. These NECA Predator figures are they're like thirty dollars, and and this guy I got this guy for ten dollars, and the twelve inch Lenard Jungle Hunter he is twenty dollars, so he's even less, he costs less than one NECA Predator, so this is awesome, amazing. I really like what Lenard did, 
And uh, yeah, this guy, you know, I already did his review, so you guys want to check him out. And uh, yeah, this is the, that's what I'm going to title this video, the, the Jungle Demon Predator from Lennard. Because this is what exactly that, this is what they were aiming for to do. So yeah. But yeah, for more comparison size, here you have him with the uh, Batman from DC Collectibles, a six and a half inch figure, and also with the uh, Batman from Mattel, the six inch figure. You see the Predator from Lennard still taller. Here you have him with two five inch DBZ figures from Irwin. For Marvel Hasbro, here you have him with. Two Wolverine uh, six inch figures. Speaking of marble, here you have them with a Hasbro Dark Beat seven inch figure. You can see that they're like about the same size, only the Lennar Predator is just a little bit taller, just a few centimeters. You can clearly see. And from Diamond Select, you know, here's a a blue beast from Diamond Select is an 8 inch figure. You can see that he towers over uh, Lennar Predator. Of course, not comparing to his big brother. And of course, with his favorite prey, two Xenomorph figure, 9 inch Xenomorph figures from NECA. And actually, Lennar did not just release a Predator figures, but also Xenomorph figures from the Alien toy line. So stay tuned for that. Because we're going to be reviewing not just Predators from Lard, but also Xenomorphs. So yeah, this was the Lenard, uh Jungle Demon Predator. Um, what do you guys think? It's a 7-inch Predator Lennard figure. Uh, Walmart exclusive for just $10. And um, these figures are amazing. I really enjoy they're just, They're very posable. They got articulation. They even give you an accessory. And they're just ten dollars. This this is amazing, and and then they're they're probably not just as collection quality as the NECA predators, but they're they're these pr predators are amazing. I I really like these. I'm keeping these predators. They're they're just so awesome. If I was like little again, like being back in elementary, I would have loved these predators. As an adult, I still do, and I'm still keeping them. What do you guys think? I really recommend you to go get these Predators. These Predators are just awesome. What other Predator should Lennar release? Should it be the future Predator from 2018? Should it be a Predator from the comics? There's Ahab, there's Deshaun Day, or any other canner versions. That would be awesome too. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you like this video. Uh, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, share it with your friends. Thank you for watching. Until next time.